What's up, Arrows? I'm Kashan, and you are watching The Book Archer. So this is my first time ever filming at night. I usually don't like to because the lighting is really bad, but I have obviously made the New Year's resolution to post more and do better at my posting. So we're just gonna have to roll with it because I have a book haul and I know you guys don't wanna wait for that. So let's get it started. So this is going to be a collective haul of books that I have purchased over the last month or two. This is my busiest season as far as book buying goes just because my birthday, Christmas, after Christmas sales, just all of the above. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last haul but I recently got Unravel Me. I can't remember if I got this in November and December so I'm just putting it in this video just in case. The first book I picked up this year was Ignite Me, which, oh my goodness, I could not wait to read this after I started this trilogy. So I do have this whole complete trilogy, Ignite Me, to complete the Shatter Me trilogy. I really enjoyed this one. I also picked up Frostfire, which is a new release from Amanda Hawking. This is the first book in the companion trilogy to the Trill, the Trill trilogy. This is the Canon Chronicles, or Canaan Chronicles, and it is set in this fantastical world that she has created. It's just, but yes, I already read this and you'll see it in my upcoming review. The next book I got I'm so excited about, this is Throne of Glass. You already know that this is my favorite series. I got Air of Fire for my birthday, I think, and then I ended up getting this one for Christmas, which I wasn't expecting because I didn't even ask for it. Like, I was just going to buy the rest of them, but <laughs> my family must really love me because ah! I definitely am going to reread this entire trilogy before the new one comes out. The next two books that I got, I purchased these on a whim. The first one is Defiance by CJ Redwin, the follow-up to Defiance called Deception. This book is about two main characters. Her father's like missing. I think this is either like fantasy or dystopian. They live in a world where I guess like men are supposed to protect like the women in the society. Her father has gone missing so she wants to go search for him but she can't go by herself so the person that has to come help her is basically this guy that she declared her love to like two years before but he basically was like eh, I don't really want you I'm not interested in love. I have to go through this place called the wasteland that has like monsters and villains and stuff like that so it's really one of those journey type of stories with you know what seems like will be a strong female protagonist so I'm just hoping that I end up enjoying this one. So the next thing I got I'm so excited about which I feel like in every book haul I have a box set which is a little bit out of control. I picked up the Trill series by Amanda Hawking. This is the original trilogy that I was talking about when I mentioned Frostfire. I never hear people talk about these on YouTube and I loved them. This was my, these three books were like my favorite reads from the year of 2013. There is one other booktuber, I cannot think of her name, but if I do remember it, I will annotate it because I'm going to leave the video down below her completed series too. She mentioned this that she read this and I was like oh my god well I've never heard anybody else have read this did you like it and then she said that it was her favorite tr trilogy or, or series of 2013 too so I was really excited about that I'm gonna show you each of the books and I got this whole box set for $9.99 on Book Outlet because they have it sometimes and then on top of that I had a $5 coupon code so Basically, I got all of these for five dollars. Holla! So the first one is Switched. The second one is Torn. And the third one is Ascend. So basically, these books follow the main character of Wendy who thinks that she's just a normal girl until she finds out that she's actually a part of the Trill tribe, which is one of these troll tribes. I don't want to give too much of the story away. There is kingdom fighting and love triangles and magic and epicness. So this is a really good trilogy. I will say, if you have not read this trilogy, do not pick up Frostfire because Frostfire is spoiler city. Like, there are a ton of spoilers from this trilogy in Frostfire. So if you're interested in Frostfire, then pick these up first. Pick this trilogy up. You won't, oh, I don't have them in order. Pick this trilogy up. 
I definitely plan on rereading these soon because I haven't read them in like two years and since I started booktube so I want to see if I will enjoy them as much as I did the first time and also a little fun fact since I like to add these in my videos this is the series that made me discover booktube because after I finished it I wanted to talk about it with people so I searched reviews for it on YouTube and that's how I discovered booktube so the next book that I have to show you guys today is going to be Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Yes, I finally have a Rainbow Rowell book. Woohoo! Go me! But yeah, this is, this is only about 300 pages or so, which is not what I was expecting, but I really loved Fangirl, and that's the only other book I've read by Rainbow Rowell, so I will be getting into this really 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 soon like this might be my next read I know it's set in the 80s or the late 80s I know it's supposed to be a love story and I'm all here for a good love story so I can't wait to read it this next book I have been waiting to read this forever and I have not got the chance to because I was waiting to find it at a good price and book outlet had it for like five bucks so I was like oh getting that and that is kiss of deception Oh, first of all, this cover is freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love this Kiss of Deception cover. I don't know much about this book because I kind of immediately decided that I wanted to read it the first time I heard Cassidy Von Shea mention it in like a haul or something or a, a review. All I know is that this is a, the female character is like a princess or something who's supposed to get married but she decides that she doesn't want to so she runs away and then there's supposed to be like tons of plot twists. It's supposed to be like fantasy I think and that's all that I know. I can't wait to read this. I will probably read this after Eleanor Park. Alright and the last two books in my book haul are the Infernal Devices Trilogy. I already have the first one, Clockwork Angel. Then I have Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. Now, this is in paperback and I've already decided that I'm giving this away as soon as I find the second one in hardback for a good price. But this paperback has been popping up everywhere. It's on Book Outlet for like $5. I got this in Books A Million for like $3. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just get in and read this one, but it's so much smaller than the hardback. And these freaking hardbacks of the Infernal Devices are gorgeous. So I want the hardback for this one, so I'll eventually be getting rid of that because like, look at the height difference. And then the first one's like all here beautiful. You know, I can't even put them on the shelf together. That this is the trilogy that coincides with the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. And I really actually am enjoying this trilogy a little bit more than Mortal Instruments, which a lot of people do. So if you haven't picked it up already, pick it up. That completes my book haul. I think that'll be my last haul for a while. The only other books that I plan on buying this month is The Fairest by Marissa Meyer. Can't wait to get my hands on that. I love a good villain backstory. So yeah, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you've read any of these books, Leave below which ones I need to read like like right now. Like right now. Like Kashawn, you need to get your hands on that book now and just read it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Book Archer. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!